Alrighty folks, how's everybody doing out there? So I'm working on this fender here. I just cut a bunch of rust and rot out of there. And not a whole lot to show. But I'm trying to make up this uh, piece of sheet metal here. Trying to get the curves correct and everything. And, you know, this, like I always say, this is not no how-to or anything. It's just me just folding around here. And, you know, we're building the rat rod. It ain't got to be 100% perfect. But I want it to look, you know, decent. And I uh, like to have a little pride in my stuff and, you know, take the time and kind of get it as best as I can get it. So, uh, what I'm working on here is uh, cut all the rust and rot out of here. And I did go make a template. And uh, this is our template right here. And it's hard to see it, but I did actually mark out where it's a stamp piece right there. And it's got a couple bolt holes in it. I was able to get our template off this fender right here. And it's hard to see, but it's flat right here. It's a bend right here, obviously. And then it curves over through here as well. So, so that's how it's supposed to look. So it curves over. It's a stamped kind of indention right there, so to speak. And I uh, got the template off that fender, so I'll have to kind of try and recreate it. I know it ain't going to be perfect, but I don't, I'll try and see if I can get that part too. But might be able to get it we'll see but i figured i'd try and get these curves right first and we're getting there we're getting there and i cut right up to the edge on this side it went right to the edge i left this one didn't want to disturb any of that because that area is pretty solid so i just want to go in here and uh get this curved up so we can get our body lines fairly close and then it is a piece of 20 gauge so ends up a lot easier so we're getting there we're getting there it'll actually you know got to trim it just a little bit but it's fairly close I got a little bit of trimming to do right there but, but that's what we got of course you dropped my piece here so that's not a whole lot to show but that's supposed to be our patch here so I just figured I'd come and make a little video here and it's not perfect. It definitely ain't perfect, but I think when we get it done, it'll be all right. And then we'll get our curve a little better here. But I did straighten all this back out. Got all that straightened out, so I had to straighten out our headlight area right here. It was all kind of mashed in a little bit. Not horrible, but Straighten all that out, straight all the way down there. And the reason I know it's straight is because if we look at this one, this one is straight. So I had to straighten this one out too. But you know, can you believe it? I backed into this thing with my Durango here and it was on this side, but yet it pushed this one in further. Right? That's kind of weird, but I don't know, whatever. But it wasn't really nothing too major, but I did go in here and uh, just want to pull all that back out and you got it looking decent you got it looking decent so let me get in there now i did go in here and work on this side a little bit more and uh tried to hammer and all this out a little bit i actually uh took a little piece of wood i mean i know it's not no steel piece but it's the best as i can do right now and i held it behind it and tried to hammer and dolly that back out get that crease out of there got it out a little bit more so still got a little bit of work to do but we got a brace that goes all through here so we can't really get to that area so i had to figure out something and again we're building a rat rod but at the same time i want the stuff to be you know decent so i'm gonna come in here and work on this so now we got rid of all this right in here it's fairly fairly good now I got it about this little bit right here. If we can get that area right there pulled back out just a little bit more, it'll be pretty good. And I uh, thought about going there and maybe welding a bolt or something on there and just kind of attach it to my slide here and pull it back out. Might try that. But I want to get all that out of there as much as I can because when I paint these fenders, I want them to look decent. So I know it's full pit, so they're full of pits so and i did clean up all this lip and everything too so 
But I want to make a little update. Not a whole lot to show. I did get our trim off here on this side over here. So I got all that off there. Got that spear off too. Got all that stuff. And I did take sharp and mark them. You know, between the driver's side and the passenger side. So keep them all separated. But yeah, this fender should clean up real nice. So this fender has been painted before. So I really wish I could have preserved this fender. But I like that black. I like that jet black. It looks cool. So this one, we're probably going to just take and make a template off the bottom of this fender right here to get our curve. So we get that curve right there and all that. And uh, we had to compensate for that little square I had to cut out. I got to repair that too. But I really, honestly, would rather just cut all that out. But I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm just going to make it. I don't think it'd be that big a deal. And then we'll take our template off that fender and then we'll apply it to this one. And that should help us get our curve and everything restored back to where it, you know, fairly close to where it's supposed to be. So, so I don't want to pull that too much because it's got a little bit of a curve. But, but yep, so I had to remake this bottom a little bit right here. And can you believe this side is fine? This side, I mean, it's got, you know, surface rust on it, but I think it'll clean up. We've got one pinhole right in here a little bit of rust action right there so this side is fine so we're gonna make a template off this and now i just got to work on that a little bit more so all right i'm gonna get back at it but that definitely looks a lot better now it's straight all the way down now so get all that straightened up Might have to pull it out just a little bit more on that lip, but we got the curve straightened out. That's the main thing. But so I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, get this uh thing curved a little bit more. And then I think we'll have it just about. So it ain't perfect, but if it looks a lot better than what it did, so so anyway. That's what I got. So do a little rust repair here. Just like take my time and fix one thing at a time. So I got to fix the front, fix the back. And then once we do that, we got to fix a little bit of rust issues right there. And then make the bottom right there. And then we'll work on our inner fenders. And I think our radiator support is going to be fine. And the inner fenders are going to be a little, a little tedious, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm not going to make that corner. Just come straight down the rest of the way and then come straight down there and then over and then drill a hole in it. So I don't think it'll be too bad. So, yep, we got to make both corners. I don't know which one's worse that one or that one. Anyway, I have to make that. We'll have to make the front right there. That's not too big a deal. So the rust doesn't really come any higher. Uh, all of it's right there at the bottom right there so i don't think it'd be a big deal to make so you gotta with these cars you know just like that's tools and this stuff too you know you kind of gotta work with what you have so i'm not buying you know better in fenders and all it's just too much money and we're gonna fix what we got and plus i want to keep all the original sheet metal to the car so anyway don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all later bye